Hi, we're Family Ratters. I'm Becca. And I'm Amanda. And today we're just going to show you a little review tour of our coordination. Not much of a tour since it's not done. But yeah, so here we go. So first off, we're going to be telling you how many rats can fit in this cage. Now we bought the double critter nation, and that can fit about roughly 12 rats. And if you separate this into two, so if you just basically block out this one and you put half of it, so six rats can probably fit in just one half of this cage. <clears throat> so this cage is really sturdy. This is one of the cages that will last a whole lifetime. It's not going to be like, you get it and then in a couple of years you're just going to be done with it. No, this is going to be a cage that you're going to keep for a very long time. It's really sturdy if you like, we had to hit it with a mat sometimes to get the pieces in. But, and you can't even tell where we did that because it's like, it's a really great sturdy cage. So these are the only tools we had to use to put together our Critter Nation. Uh, it took us roughly half an hour with five people, but we're sure that it would. It only took that long because um, three out of the five of us were younger, so we had two adults and three younger kids. Um, it also took a while because part of our pieces were bent, so we had to put them back together. But yeah, that was pretty much it. So all we really had to use were two screwdrivers um and then this electric screwdriver for you know to make sure that it can get the screws in there really tightly and then this to like fix some of the bent pieces and to hammer some of the things in so yes <laughs> okay let me start all right so this cage uh the double critter nation it costs around $250, give or take, including shipping and handling. At least that was for us. And it's totally worth every single penny. This is a cage that you'll have for a whole lifetime of many, many rats or any other critters that would go into this Critter Nation cage. And so in the description below, we'll add a few links to the websites that we looked at for this cage. So as you can probably tell, this Critter Nation is on wheels. Now these wheels are amazing. Um, they will actually move because I know a lot of wheels, you know, well you're probably thinking, but all wheels move. Well, as you can see, as I move it, the wheels are turning to adjust to the way that I'm trying to move the Critter Nation. So the wheels are connected to this shelf at the bottom. The shelf is great for storage, uh, anything that you have for your animals. It's great to put down here so you don't have to clear out an extra space of shelving or anything to devote to your animals. Um, the two wheels in front do lock, uh, the ones in the back do not. Uh, it's very easy to move, lightweight. Um, so yeah, that's the wheels. So basically this cage is really easy to open up, well from the outside, like your little rats or other critters that would go in here, they wouldn't be able to open it up from the inside. So don't worry about them escaping because they won't. So basically you just you squeeze these two and then you open it like that. And then there you go. So it opens like that. And then as you close it, you just do it, you just uh, squeeze them together again and let go. So that's how you open the doors. And yeah. <clears throat> so this is what we have in here so far. Um, this, as you can see, is just a cherry coke thing with nothing in it. Um, it's basically for size comparison and the rats are going to be able to go in there. It's just a hide box. So as you can see, you know how big these things are. That's how big it is in comparison. So also you can probably tell throughout the video these ramps have um, fleece things on them. Uh, these came with the Critter Nation. Um, we did put some fleece here for kind of extra padding and stuff like that, so, yeah. And don't worry, we're going to be adding a whole bunch more stuff to this. It's just we got it, like, what, yesterday? Yeah. So, don't worry, there's going to be more stuff in here for our little ratties to play with.
Well, now we're going to do another size comparison. It's going to be with this little dime right there. Is it focused? Yeah, it's fine. All right, so, you know, it's a little dime. You know what the size of a dime is. So, yeah. Here's the dime on... You don't... You fail. Try it again. <laughs> fail. Here's the dime <laughs> compared to the wires. They're really... The dime's just, like, a little bit bigger than the wire, so there's no rats or animals going to be escaping from here and it can't fit in like that either so when you turn it tall ways it's not going to fit like that but it will fit like that if you turn it horizontal because you know it's super skinny but yeah so that's another size comparison um may i add something real quickly um these bars are about half an inch apart and it's fine for them to still be able to climb up it if your little animals or climbers they can climb up it and have their fun but they still will not be able to escape so basically here it's just like a little walk around just so you can see how wide it is it's how wide pretty wide we still have that little tag on there but that's gonna end up coming off when we get the rats we just haven't taken it off yet so you can see it and here's like as long as it is Sorry. it's yeah, it's pretty long too. My hand. I have a bigger hand than most people my age, but so yeah, that's the uh that's the cage for you. So basically this is just a wrap up of our review of the Critter Nation. And um it's always about 110 pounds. The bar spacing is about half an inch. It can fit 12 rats. And shipping and handling is like well the cost of the cage including shipping and handling is about $230. So I would rate this cage 10 and a half out of 10. Well, I'm Becca. And I'm Amanda. And, and we're Family Ratters. Hi, I'm Kyle and I'm one of the Family Ratters too.